We're full of buttered popcorn, gummy bears, and thoughts about Goosebumps to share with you. You know that Slappy is our best friend when he wants to bring Halloween to life just like we do. I would love if every like aspect of Halloween came to life all the time and that's what he wanted in the movie without going into why, but it's like, yes, that's like, yes, yes. So, so cool. And Gomez just bought gummy bears and it is so representative of parts of this movie. And when you guys see it, if you haven't already seen it, you will understand. Today we're reviewing Goosebumps 2 Haunted Halloween. We're going to try to make it spoiler free so that it gives you an idea of what to expect without ruining anything. Slappy approves though, we will say that. Slappy got the victory, which is how it should be. If you guys are new, do subscribe, check out our spooky playlists. Slappy is always present if you're Goosebumps fans. You will like to see him on our channel. I'm, I'm Morticia, Gomez is there. Hello! Hello! <laughs> and this is our sister Ophelia. We Hello. all went to see Goosebumps. We're so stuffed with popcorn and candy and thoughts about Goosebumps. So, um, I guess it had more comedy than the last one a little bit than Goosebumps 1, don't you think, Gomez? Yes. And it, um, it, had, it, it was spooky. It had a good, fun Halloween flair, I think. Like, there was a lot of comedy. And what's funny is there was a part in the movie that I won't ruin about gummy bears, and Gomez was just talking about trying original gummy bears. <laughs> and they were selling them here. And I'm like, I wonder if that's because of this movie or if this theater always carries them. We usually don't get the candy here, so. Um, but, yeah, it was funny. It was really good. I loved the way Slappy was portrayed. And I loved the Frankenstein inclusion of Mary Shelley's book, which, again, you're not being told how, so I'm not really spoiling it, but we are huge Frankenstein Shelley fans. It's, like, a big part of our channel. Um, Frank is even our thumbnail for the general channel. So it's just very cool that they included that. We feel like the universe knew that we were close friends with Slappy, so we got our nod. Um, but it was like, you know, spooky Halloween fun, but not like real horror. It was just like the fun energy of Halloween with some comedy, really good characterization. Um, I liked how this one was uh, very family oriented. It showed how Slappy had understandable motivation and such. He wasn't just uh, mean or maniacal or anything else. He had natural desires that make him even more lifelike than many others. And just like the true creation of Victor Frankenstein, he was rejected by his maker, R.L. Stein, in movie one. Um, so yeah, I think that was a good point, Gomez. Ophelia, any thoughts? I enjoyed it. You said most of what I would have said, and I didn't see ghost, the Goosebumps one, so I, don't, I can't compare it. But it was really good. Yeah, I told her I didn't think she would need Goosebumps one to see Goosebumps 2 and I was just kind of being psychic because they weren't really related none of the same characters were in there except obviously all the Goosebumps characters and R.L. Stein himself I don't want to like diss R.L. Stein the real guy but I like the actor better than the real author as far as like voice and looks like the actor just seems like a cool spooky guy and the real R.L. Stein does not I watched an interview of the real one and went oh well <laughs> That was a letdown. I mean, I'm sure he's cool, but like the actor just carries across the coolness. Like, yeah, so it was funny. Arl Stein himself had a cameo appearance in this movie, and we couldn't even tell at first because it was very brief and not distinct enough. Where the character who played him, Jack Black, was really brilliant, carrying his personality. So let me let me think. Was Arl Stein the guy that was the werewolf? I uh, know. Okay, see, I don't even know who it was. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Who was it? He was uh, the principal that at the end was giving the oh. prize to Sonny. That was him. Oh. But uh, he thanked him. Yeah, I didn't even register. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and as you guys can probably tell, we are doing a movie review in a movie theater. Um, yeah, it was good. I would totally recommend it to anyone of all ages. And it was one of those all ages fun Halloween movies that didn't end up being like... Um, they didn't try too hard, and it was still good. And it was um, different than the first movie in that it wasn't a retelling of Goosebumps 1. You know how a lot of sequels are just like redoing the first one? Like, yeah. It's like, okay, it's tired, it needs to stop. This was really good. It was another story. It wasn't retelling Goosebumps 1. Um, and it was, it was just its own little fun Halloween thing. It was really cool. 
Um, we brought Slappy, hoping to terrorize more kids, and nobody, like a lot of people, didn't even notice him. He's like, wow. He doesn't know what to think about that. One kid said um, we were at the pet store looking at Halloween stuff because we look at it everywhere we can find it. And one kid said that, oh, he gives me nightmares. And Slappy's like, oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's was so lovely to say. Just like Freddy Krueger. And, um, and two other kids call him Chucky. What's up? Like, I heard kids say hi, Slappy. Yeah, one did, but somebody else, like two other kids at different places, called him Chucky today. And I, I informed the kid. He was cute, though. He got all happy to be educated. I'm like, no, this is Slappy from Goosebumps. He's like, oh, I'm like, this is Chucky. To know the difference. Behold, so the power of the Chuck. So, that was it. We would definitely give it a five out of five. Until next time. Stay Slappy, my friends.